you might have. Right? So and Roger Gittin is head of the music department at the Barbados Community College. Since 1998, we have had just over 350 students um, pass through the program. Um, it's a two-year associate degree. In the first year, we do subjects that will be taught at any music school. Um, students do harmony, ear training, computer music. They have private lessons on their instruments and they do ensembles. They do music history. In the second year, they do things like arranging, some songwriting, conducting, with the goal of getting them ready to work in music here in Barbados or in the region or in the world. Our students study a myriad of instruments. So we have students on tuba, we've had students on viola, violin, steel pan, voice, piano, clarinet, you know, the whole range of instruments that you have. Each year, on average, we have approximately 20 to 25 students graduate, um, and our intake is usually around, around that 25 to 30 students intake each year. Currently, I am the only full-time member of staff, but we have 26 um, part-time tutors and they teach pretty much everything from um, private lessons and ensembles to music business. Uh, most of our students will work in music in some way. Some of our students will produce music, um, write music, arrange music. Some of our students will work with um, businesses that are involved in music. The, cadre of students that we have graduating have gone on to to raise the the level i believe of performance in in the island we have graduates who are working in, in schools they are functioning as really great uh, music educators and they have lifted the standard of uh, music and music performance in the schools and we have a younger a younger group of musicians now who are quite proficient who are playing jazz who are playing pop music who are writing and producing and and i believe that has changed the face of the industry it gives us the opportunity now that we have more trained musicians the the possibilities of having maybe international hits um, in, in all genres as, as a result because we have more persons participating in creating various forms of music and at a high level. Any program will have challenges, especially in a small country the size of Barbados. Um, our, our biggest challenge, I would say, is lack of space. The the building that we we're in was envisioned, I believe, to hold, hold, house maybe 20 students. Um, and right now, music alone is 60, has 60 students. And theater, who we share the building with, they have uh, around 40. So there are 100 students sharing a space that was built for only 20 students. Uh -huh. We also have the challenge of of sound um, where students practice ensembles are also going great guns and we have a few neighbors who are disturbed by the music coming out of coming out of the hall um, we were there before most of them but since they have built in um, the they're they are disturbed I guess by the um, by the music we also have a challenge just of, of resources um, it would be great to have a larger room for our computer computer studies and more computers it would be great to have um, more equipment in terms of sound equipment and keyboards you know things that you would find in a regular music school we don't have that luxury and we're hoping that in the next few years we can we can get there <laughs> Uh, my name is Brandon Gaskin. I'm a second year at the Barbados Community College. I'm currently doing the Associate Degree of Music, and the instrument I'm studying under is the electric bass guitar. It came out of nowhere, as it did for everyone else, uh, especially because, like everyone else, everyone had huge plans. For me, my real first year was just me practicing and practicing, and the second year around, I wanted to try to do outside stuff, like outside gigs and whatnot, and get my feet wet in that arena, so that when I graduate, I'll have a little something, but then, Corona came around and really put a halt to it. <laughs> when COVID arrived, we were in the middle of 
getting ready for our portfolio. Portfolio is our, our graduation concert. We were um, getting ready to, to, to do our final exams and you know, students were training to getting ready for those and COVID shut everything down. Hi, my name is Winnie Trey Harper. Um, I'm 18 years of age. I'm a past student of the Allen School and I'm a saxophonist here at the BTC Music Program. Kobe has infected my educational experience in a ne mostly negative way in terms of like how it was such a drastic change from going straight to face to face to um, online classes. But afterwards, I got the hang of it. Credit to the teacher, to the tutors and the students in a hurry. We've reformatted what it is that, that we were doing and we, everything was done online. It means going forward that we are doing no more online teaching and it means also that we can now teach persons possibly in Australia, wherever they are in the world, there is that possibility that we can open up some of our courses to persons who are not resident in Barbados. Right now, things are things are pretty bleak. You know, things are pretty bleak. And I'm advising my students use the time to study. Um, if you're not playing, you're hopefully still living home, and you have a roof over your head, and your parents are supporting you. Go to university or study, do a course or two online, so that when all of this ends, you'll be that much more prepared to move forward.